Today, we are learning how to make this chart in less than 60 seconds. Let's do this. So here is our data for this tutorial. Have an active cell inside the range. Press Ctrl A to select the range and then hit Alt F1 to insert cluster column chart. Let me expand it for your better understanding. Having the chart still active, press change chart type. From the list, select combo. For actual series, we'll go with cluster column chart and for target, it's line with markers. Press OK and this will change the chart like this. Right click on the line series, format data series, click fill and line icon, no line, press marker, and then marker options and then the marker options go with built in and from the list select dash type. Now with the size, just go with whatever suits you. Let me try 30. That's good enough. And lastly, get rid of the elements that are not necessary. For example, chart title, grid lines and legends. Now our chart is complete and we can stop right here. But we can improve it further by adding data labels. So let me show you how it's done. Select the target series, go to add chart elements under the design tab and then data labels. And I think it's looking much better on the left. Same way we can add the data labels to actual series under design tab, go to add chart elements, data labels. And I think it's much better if we go with inside base. Yes. All right, now I can easily see for each product, for example, product G, the actual result was 100, whereas the target was 29. And this axis is now redundant, so we can simply left click once and hit delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it. And there you go, your chart is ready. If you like this chart, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, please do so so that you stay updated with our latest Excel video lectures, tips and tricks. That's it for today. See you in the next video.